Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you um, two new products that were launched in the Skinny Dip collection by Jouer. I did pick up the Ultra Foil Shimmer Shadows, and then I also did pick up the new highlighting powder in Skinny Dip as well. So if you want to see what I think about these and also some swatches on these and a maybe dip for Skinny Dip highlighter, then just keep on watching. And also, please don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet already. So let's just jump right in. So Jouer recently launched um, a few products to their line. So they added a new highlighter, which is called Skinny Dip. And they do have a lip topper named Skinny Dip. So they just did this collection um, based on that lip topper they had. So the Skinny Dipped Palette retails for $40.00. And then the Skinny Dipped Highlighter retails for $24. And I do believe these are limited edition. So if you are thinking about picking these up, I think you should jump on them because they will sell out. And usually Jouer doesn't really restock their limited edition stuff. Last year they had the Mermaid Collection. And I don't think that ever got restocked. So if you want these products, you might as well jump on them now before they sell out. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's so pretty. I love the gold packaging. I love how this is like 3D-ish. The Skinny Dip Park Collection and also these little detailings right here. They're all um, like 3D. It's very, very beautiful. And then the packaging just looks like this. And it's just their regular packaging that they have with their other highlighting powders. I love the gold mirror packaging I just think it looks so beautiful and it's very sleek and just it just looks expensive so this is what the skinny dip highlighter looks like it's just a golden peach shade I thought this shade would be a little brighter for some reason but it is kind of like on the darker side so I feel like this will look nicer on like medium to deeper skin tones I feel like it'll look nice on light skin tones also but I feel like it'll be a tad too dark for light skin tones so I feel like this highlighter is more for again medium to deeper skin tones and then this is the palette this is the ultra foil shimmer shadows palette the skinny dip part kind of has some texture you could feel it kind of higher than the actual packaging I kind of wish that they did what they did on here with like the holographic and like kind of like the 3d on the palette also i feel like this is just gorgeous that they should have just incorporated it into the palette as well but again this is gold packaging it is cardboard it does have a magnetic closure as well so your shadows will be safe in here and it also does come with a mirror so this is what the shades look like in here you get a beautiful silver, pink, gold, a bronze, kind of like a pewter shade, and then a more darker, like, brown shade right here. And these are all very beautiful. I have used three of these shades already. I've used the silver, the pink, um, well, actually four, because I mixed these two together for my eye look. But I had used this one, which is called Starlight. And then I also did use Magic Hour, but today I used Bikini and Skinny Dip. I really like these. These are super pigmented, very buttery also. The only one that I felt like it wasn't super buttery was this one, which is called Bikini. It did feel a little gritty compared to the other shades that are in this palette. It wasn't as intense as the other ones when I swatched it on my finger. It did feel like I had to build up that shade. But overall, I feel like it's still nice. I'm go back with the highlighter, and I'm going to be applying it onto my cheeks just to show you guys what it looks like. I do have some highlighter on this cheek already. I'm just going to be taking this e.l.f. blush brush and just dipping it in here. And these are very pigmented. You don't really need to really pack on your brush in here. Um, a little bit does go a very long way. And this is what that shade looks like. Again, very pigmented and super buttery, and you can definitely see that glow. But what do you guys think of this shade? I feel like this shade is very beautiful, but it is not my favorite shade of the highlighting powders that I do have from Jouer. I do have Rose Quartz and also Citrine, and from the three, my favorite is Citrine. This one is beautiful also, but it's not my favorite of the three. I don't know, I just... It, this shade looks like a golden, peachy golden glow. It's it's really pretty, but again, it's not my like super favorite compared to Citrine. Citrine is just gorgeous, and you do need a little bit of that. That is very, very pigmented, and it's just beautiful. It's like a pale gold shade. It's just very beautiful. I want to go on with some comparisons and a possible dupe for the Skinny Dip Highlighter. So when I 
picked up the Skinny Dip Highlighter. I thought it's peachy highlighter. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be close to my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfection in the shade Champagne Pop. And when I compared them, they're not really close tubes at all. So this is the swatch of Skinny Dipped. Again, a golden peach shade. Very pretty. And I did feel like the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector was going to be a close dupe for the shade. And this is what that shade looks like. Let me do a side by side so you guys can see. They kind of actually look pretty similar. In person, they really don't. In camera, they kind of do, but I don't know. Um, this one looks more peachy, whereas this one just looks gold, more golden, like a little darker. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch my Champagne Pop. Um, Champagne Pop's just more like a pale peach golden shade. So this one right here is Skinny Dipped, and this one is Champagne Pop. So these are definitely not close to each other. They are very different. And they're both really pretty, but these two are not dupes to each other like I originally thought they would be. So I was looking through my collection to try to see if I could find a dupe for the Skinny Dip Highlighter, and I think I did. So the highlighter I'm going to be comparing it to is by ColourPop, and it's in the shade Wisp. So you may already have this shade in your collection, because this is a very popular shade from ColourPop. So here is those, and these ones look a lot more similar to each other than um, Champagne Pop did. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one. So this is Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. This is Jouer Highlighting Powder in Skinny Dip, and then this one right here is ColourPop Wisp. And these two... I feel like are very close. This one feels like it has a little more pink to it, like a pink peach shade. But I feel like these two are more similar than the Becca one is. So, what do you guys think? I feel like it's a pretty close too. So now we're going to be swatching the shimmer shadows in the Skinny Dip palette. When I first saw this palette, I actually picked it up because the shades just reminded me of the glitters from Stila, those new ones that are like $20 each. I don't know, like I saw the swatches and all the beauty vloggers like Snapchat and stuff like that. And I was like, these just kind of remind me, like the shade range I think it is, is that it reminded me of the Stila, like those magnificent metal glitter. So I'm like, I'm just going to buy this. And I'm pretty usually happy with Jouer products. And I'll get six shades for $40 instead of paying $20 each for those Stila glitters. And I'm just glad I picked this up because I'm really not disappointed with this palette from the two um, Skinny Dip products that I picked up. Um, the eyeshadow palette is definitely my favorite because I just, I love highlighter too, but I just, you can't go wrong with shimmer shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you guys also. And I'm going to do finger swatches and I'm also going to be doing brush swatches also. Um, again, you'll get the most payoff by using your finger with these shadows. They're just ultra foil, super shimmery. Um, you'll just get the best effect on the eyes using your finger than using a brush. So the first shade is called Starlight. And it's the silver shade. So I just went one, two, three. And this is what that shade looks like. Gorgeous, right? So pretty. I am like not disappointed with this palette at all. This is one of my favorite shades in this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and use a brush. This is just the crown brushes. I'm not sure what kind of brush. It's a flat brush, but I don't know what it's called. And I'm just going one, two, three with my brush. And then, so again, as you see, it's not as pigmented as using your finger. Using your fingers, just you're just going to get the more metallic effect of these shadows. But again, you can see pretty metallic. It's just not as intense as with your finger. The next shade in this palette is the pink shade, and it's called Bikini. This is the shade that I thought was not as foily as the other ones were, and it also does feel a little gritty compared to the other ones. But this is what that shade, and this is just like a pale pink shade. Finger swatch, it wasn't super pigmented. I feel like with a brush, it's not going to be pigmented either. Yeah, this shade, for sure, you need to use like Fix Plus or something. Just use your finger because with this shade, you can't really build it up as easily. 
um, again, just use your finger for these. It's just going to be the best pigmentation possible for these shadows on applied to your eyelids. So, Next up, the shade is called Skinny Dip, and this is a golden shade. That is what that looks like. These are very intense, very beautiful. If you love super shimmery, extra metallic eyeshadows, I just feel like this one's the one to get. So now I'm going to be using a brush. Again, not as pigmented, but still very beautiful. So this would actually be nice for like every day, like if you're going to work and stuff. And then just use your finger and apply this on top. And then you have your night look, intense metallic eye look. Just Next very... up, the shade is called Tan Lines. Oh, super pigmented. This feels like a bronzy, like olive shade to me. It's really pigmented again. I just did like three swatch, three swipes and applied it. And I still have some on my finger, as you can see here. So now let's try with the brush. Yeah, these shadows are definitely better applied with your finger. You can't really get as much pigmentation as you do with your fingers. So I just recommend, again, just use your finger for these shadows. It's just like more work using a brush. I don't know if I just have the wrong type of brush to use it with, and I'm sure Fix Plus would help also. But why would you want to use like Fix Plus on a brush where you can just have the metallic effect just using your finger and you don't have to spend any money on Fix Plus or anything? So, so I have two more shades to go. This next shade is called Magic Hour, and this is kind of like a pewter shade right here. This one's another one of my favorites from this palette. Very buttery. I didn't have any problems when I used my finger with this shade. So I'm going to go ahead and use a brush. You still get the glittery effect on this one with a brush. Again, not as intense with finger, but it's still very pretty also. Again, this one is called Magic Hour. The last shade is called Midnight Swim. And this one's a dark brown like I felt like it had a hint of green in it I don't know if you guys can tell but it's really really nice and this one it has I feel like it has extra glitter in it but this one would be gorgeous for like a super dark smoky eye it's just so gorgeous so let's swatch this shade with our brush So that is what that shade looks like. So overall, I feel like the Skinny Dip palette, eye palette, is a thumbs up. If you're thinking about it, pick it up. It's amazing. You saw my swatches already. Just use your finger as you apply them. You saw on my swatches that just going with your finger is just way more intense, way more buttery than using a brush. And then on the highlighter, I feel like I would skip on this. Or if you really wanted this, I think I would rather um, just go with the dupe, which is the ColourPop Wisp shade. I don't know. I, this highlighter is not my favorite from... The three, again, the three highlighters that I do have. Citrine is my all-time favorite. I don't know if they'll ever come out with a new highlighting palette that I like more than Citrine. So I, if I could go back, I would actually skip on the highlighter and just get the um, eyeshadow palette, the Ultra Shimmer Foil Shadow Palette. Um, I just feel like this is really amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not yet subscribed, Please don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I will just see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.